Yeah, there you go. I hear a new Sanders hey, here. How did you hear? Uh, I've been hearing it through the whole week. I was actually just about to call you. Oh, well, perfect timing. So yeah, Rich is gonna try to get this out. These are supposed to be shorter. So the problem is, we're taking them out down here in the finish shop, but they go up in the workshop. The workshop doesn't have a dock. That means we gotta get all the pieces up to the workshop, which was fine when we thought we bought a nice short machine, but we gotta get them through the warehouse. Out the finish door, yeah. and up and around. Up that gravelly hill backwards. it takes for a tire to completely deflate but that sounds like there's a time clock running on us getting this last package out oh of the truck god watch the ceiling watch the ceiling oh yeah oh no yeah. all right turn it Call the Amishman. Yeah, we're gonna need an Amish bailout. We need Elmer. He's got a welding shop up the road and he has a giant forklift. It's been a Monday morning. Oh. So Pete was just fixing the strapping machine. Oh! <laughs> which broke this morning. Any of the packages, we can't box them to ship them out if that's not running. And the internet wasn't working. So no one could clock in today. Elmer didn't pick up. And Elmer didn't pick up. But he's Amish and his phone's by the road. So it might be a good idea, like if I just run up there, just yep. knock on the door and hey, we need your forklift right now. Sure, that sounds good. Sure. While we're waiting for right. it, do you want to tell me what this machine is? Oh, this is a sander, new sander, because that guy. Hey, Josh. Yes, sir. How old is that sander? 20 plus years. So it's old, it's worn out, and it's not reliable enough. And it's our only wide belt sander. So if that thing goes down, MGT production grinds to a halt. We can't have that. So we just bought a new one. Woo. And as an added bonus, it's a top and bottom sander. For example, a topper panel. Right now, the way we have to sand it is we put it through the machine once, it sands the top. We put it through the machine again, it sands the bottom. So this machine, we put it through once, the first machine does the top, the second machine does the bottom, and it comes out finished. So it should double our throughput on all of our wide belt sanded parts. The efficiency is great, but even more important than that is just the reliability. Like we just don't have a lot of faith that this one's gonna keep running. Right. Like this machine that we currently have is, it's like veneer sanding capable, has a lot more technology in it, but you don't need any of that to sand hardwood panels. So we managed to get these like two machines that are not quite as technologically advanced, but are very adequate for what we're trying to do mm. for less than the price of one smarter machine. We're gonna hang on to that one because we need it for prophecy and for a couple other things, but the new one's gonna become the workhorse of all the MGT parts. That's like the real volume. So is it just going next to it? It's actually gonna go over here. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna get to find out when the tech's gonna be here to set it up. Right, I forgot that such big machines need a professional. Yeah, you don't get to just like plug it in. I wonder who this guy is, I figured he'd be here already. That probably means that there's a hilarious disaster happening at the dock that we're missing. Our scissor lift also died today. Oh, so we're just losing everything. Right here. So apparently the, he can't pull it out because his forks aren't long enough. So Rich is going to drive outside, drive around the building, pick it up and set it on the ground, and then he's going to like drive it up the hill, I guess. Up, tilt it back, and it away. Holy mother of Troy! I don't like that. But I'm feeding him, baby. What do you want to do? Roll it? Yep. I can't send much of a problem. Come on. Alright, you're clear. Roll 
good at dropping down. That's a pucker moment. I'm off the ground. My ass is off the ground. I have an interview. I gotta go. Okay. James Gunn. Five minutes later. I love the fact you just like drive forklifts up and down the street. <laughs> Didn't know that was legal. May not be. Hey, Rich. What's up? Did you just get stood up again? Yes. Just because I'm bald. I know I is. <laughs> they won't tell me that, though. It's all right, though. I know. Do how much guy left? He left to go get his fork extenders. Okay. Hunter's uh, scrounging up some big blocks. We're going to try just lifting it up a bit with our forklift to get in some big stickers under there, and then he'll pick up the whole thing under that. And he's gonna bring some chains to chain it down. All right. All right. All right. Cool. So now we're just gonna right. wait. Meanwhile. Do should do it. Yeah. You guys hopping in? Sure. No. Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> oh. Nope. Some Indiana Jones shit. <laughs> Made it. Okay. A little higher, Rich. Oh, look at this. Brand new machine. Already dirty. <laughs> one and which is two? We think that's number one because that has all the controls on it. That makes sense. But that one also has controls on it. They the sent us like this, the front machine, two, two, two fronts. Two fronts. <laughs> this is the front. Okay. It does the bottom first. Got it. So your table goes here and the end seat belt's here. This is definitely the front. What do you think about this? I think it's in my way. <laughs> oh, new people. Thank you, people. Well, they didn't say hi. No. Well, they're new. I don't know you're supposed to do that yet. What? Got big cracks in it. Cracks? Oh, it's on the other side of this one. Over here. Broken. Whoa! 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 Hey! This thing's brand new. Come on, guys. As long as it sands wood, I actually don't care. <laughs> How expensive was this? 150. For both? Yeah, total. It's not bad. It's not crazy. This is exciting though. This will speed us up a lot. Alright. Oh, geez. Sorry. It's not oh, for oh. me. <laughs> 